Hi, I'm Jonathan Banks, Executive Automotive Analyst at NADA Used Car Guide with this month's market update. New and used sales took off in March as winter weather calmed down just enough to allow larger numbers of consumers and dealers to find their way to dealership lots and auction lanes. Starting first with new vehicle sales. Deliveries increased by a solid 5.6% in March compared to last year. And unlike in January or February, sales were generally up across the board as mainstream brands rose by a collective 5%, while luxury brands jumped by 13%. The improvement drove year-over-year -year gains up by 1.3% through the year's first three months and the positive movement signifies stronger demand that was pent up from earlier in the year. March's seasonally adjusted annual rate climbed by 7.3% from last year to reach 16.33 million units. The year-over-year -year increase was the highest since August 2013 and was a strong result considering the SAR decline during the previous two months. On the domestic front, Chrysler made tremendous strides in March by growing sales 13% which made the automaker the third biggest mover for the month behind only smaller Japanese makes, Mitsubishi and Subaru. With only Chrysler brand seeing a drop in sales, the company was able to progress greatly behind its popular Jeep and Ram brands, where sales rose by 47 and 28 percent respectively. As for General Motors, three out of, it, out of its four brands saw sales improve, with Buick, GMC, and Chevrolet up a collective 48 percent while Cadillac was down 6%. Ford Motor Company trailed its domestic counterparts, with sales up a relatively low 3% for the month. Collective sales of import brands were up 5% in March, just below the industry's 5.6% increase. But the group's 1.7% rate of growth over the first quarter was better than the overall industry figure of 1.3%. Subaru was the industry leader once again, with deliveries up a robust 21%, due mostly to impressive showings by models such as the Forester and XV Crosstrek. Meanwhile, Mitsubishi stood out with a 71% leap in deliveries, thanks to the, Lander, the Lancer, Outlander, and Outlander Sport, combining for 48% growth, while the Mirage added 1,500 sales. Nissan brand sales were up an impressive 8% in March, while sales at Toyota increased by a lesser 5%. Things weren't nearly as good at Honda, Honda America as deliveries for the automaker fell by 2% in March due to a 3.4% de decline in Honda brand deliveries. Nearly every European brand exhibited strong increases in sales last month, excluding Volkswagen, whose sales fell by 2.6%. Sales for fellow, fellow German brands, Mercedes, BMW, and Audi were up. Even smaller, smaller automakers, such as Volvo, whose sales increased 10%, also exhibited respectable gains. Per auto data, incentive spending grew once again in March, this time by about 6% to an average of $2,700 per unit. This helped push spending over the quarter of the year to an average of about $2,700 up 7.4% from the first quarter of 2013. March's new sales performance saw inventory fall by 13 days to settle at 62 days, which is the greatest month-over-month -month drop since March 2010. Although day supply was two days higher than a year ago, the significant drop in inventory from last month supports the notion that pent-up demand would see consumers return to the marketplace once the weather improved. On the used side of the market, wholesale auction prices increased by the highest rate in three years in March. Dealers blocked from purchasing during the abnormally harsh weather in January and February bid aggressively to build inventory in preparation for the traditional spring bounce in consumer demand. Adding further buoyancy to prices was the fact that late model volume continued to fall while dealer activity was heating up. Last month, the number of 2010 to 2013 model year transactions fell by about 5%, which came on top of the 4% fall recorded in February. These unique factors pushed wholesale prices for units up to eight years in age by an average of about 4% in March, well above both February's 2% and NADA's 1% forecast for the month. The last time monthly price growth exceeded this amount was back in early 2011 when soaring gasoline prices helped foster an acute run-up in compact and mid-sized car prices. March's dramatic performance pushed NADA's seasonally adjusted used vehicle price index by over two percentage points 
to 127, a new all-time high, far exceeding the previous mark of 125.6 set back in November of 2013. Upward movement at the segment level was greatest for those experienced the biggest declines in auction volume. The number of auction transactions recorded for the compact and mid-sized car and compact utilities fell by about 5%, while minivan sales fell by 10% in March. 2013 minivan volume fell by nearly 1,300 units, or 30%. Correspondingly, prices for these segments improved by an average of about 4%. 2013 model years mid-size utilities, like the Jeep Grand Cherokee and Ford Explorer, experienced an 18% decline in sales, driving down overall volume by 7% in March. This helped lift, about, lift prices by about 3% for the segment. The large pickup segment was one of the few mainstream groups to have sales actually increase last month, up about 6%. But this didn't keep prices from growing by a robust 3%. Following years of price appreciation, first quarter results indicate little in the way of waning demand for the big pickup segments. Prices for remaining segments increased by averages below 1.5%. Looking ahead through April, the fact that used vehicle prices remained elevated across all of March provides some indication that prices won't fall off dramatically over the first week or two of April. Reinforcing this assumption is the fact that transaction volume continued to trend lower as March came to a close. However, an increasing number of units delayed by the abnormally harsh winter, particularly rental vehicles, should find their way to auction as the month progresses. As a result, we expect April to start off with prices remaining rather high, beginning to tail off somewhat precipitously toward the latter half of the month. Overall, NADA's forecast for April points to prices falling by about 2% relative to March by month's end. This is higher than both the 1.7 drop recorded last year and the 1.2 decline averaged for the month over the past 10 years. With respect to segments, prices are expected to be softest for many of the segments that experienced the biggest increases in March. Mid-sized cars, utilities, and vans, and to a lesser extent, compact cars and utilities. Luxury car prices are also forecasted to drop at, a higher, at the higher end of the predicted range, while prices for pickups are expected to slip the least during the month. For additional market insight, please download April's edition of Guidelines. Thanks for watching.